hot. So I've been coming to this one donut shop since I was about six or seven years old. <laughs> and I've always gone through the drive through and I've never gone in. I can't even stand it, but that's not what it's about. What it's about is I'm gonna tell you the story about how I got my boob stepped on at the baseball. <laughs> You get your boots stepped on, I get my hair stepped on. Oh gosh. Uh, okay. Yes! Yeah, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Glazed donuts are warm right now. Okay. Oh my god, yes, Jesus in heaven. Okay. I, like, let's zoom in. I would like. Oh, I know I'm gonna want them glazed, they'll yeah. be fresh. Oh my god. Yes. Donut holes are my thing. That's what I mean. <laughs> hey, you gotta love that sugar shot. Yes. <laughs> Alright. So we got the do nuggets. That's what one of my sisters used to say. But yeah, okay. We go, we decide we're gonna go ahead and get a massage. We're gonna go to Chinatown in Houston. We don't quite know which one to go to. She's gone to a couple of spas over there. I have, I think it's like eight collectively in the downtown Chinatown area. Okay, fine, cool. There's one named Sakura. Great, we'll go check that out. So we go in, they have a hour long body and foot massage for $35. How would you not do that? So. We go in, we get the, the foot massage first, we're doing the thing, thing, whatever, and then we get ready to go into the room for the massage, and we get the massage, it's nice so far, I'm having an allergic reaction to the oil because I'm a freak of nature, and then they leave the room. So I'm sitting there twiddling my fingers, I'm like, well, you know, maybe 30 minutes is up, I don't know. Yeah. They come back, her massage therapist comes to her and says, hi Stone, we both went, what? <laughs> Hi Stone, yes, I didn't know that was involved in this $35 price, we're doing the thing. Okay, they get the hot stones out, they stroking and gliding the hot stones all over the body or whatnot, and then they put the stones away and then they come back to finish up their massage. So I'm in a very wonderful mood. Let's, let's go ahead and just divert right quick. More often than not, the videos that you see of me are from this position. It's not very often you all see my entire body. No, I am, I'm not trying to hide it or anything. It's just, you don't need to see it. This is all that you need to see. However, on those rare occasions that you do get to see more of me, I'm obviously top heavy. And I'm not just a little top heavy. I'm not a C, I'm not a D, I'm not a double D. I ain't even a triple D. I am a disrespectful, that makes no mathematical, scientifical sense. Yes, I said scientifical sense. I am a F and a G cup. Like freaking God, why are your boobs that big? Yeah, and I didn't buy them. I didn't plan on having them this big. I grew up a very, I, I wasn't very girly. I was rough and tumble. I was a tomboy. So to end up with like, you know, watermelons and cantaloupes, that's not what I banked on, but here they are. And because they're real, they don't just sit up when laying down. They do what real boobies do. They roll off to the sides. The thing is, when I roll off to the side, I roll really far. So, let's go back to the massage uh, place, right? Yeah, we're in the spot. So, we, you know, they went and took the rocks, put them away, came back. And I guess my massage therapist needed to get some further reach. So she put her knees on the side of... <laughs> she put her knees on the side of the massage table and there wasn't enough le leverage. So she got up on it and bitch got on my titty. And I just... I'm under the thing like... <laughs> because what do you tell her? Excuse me, miss. You just, you're on my meat. Like, <laughs> off of it. You just gave me a mammogram. <laughs> Giving me a mammogram. This was supposed to be a cool moment. I haven't seen my friend in a month, and like you're killing it. You're killing it and this. And I thought the worst thing that happened was I got my hair stepped on because I, mm -hmm. I didn't have it up. It was just out, and so it was like failing all forward. And he went to step up like right here, and it was like, <gasps> and I went, okay, just bear with it. We're good for a second. So while we're both, you know, having our own personal <laughs> struggles, I just. This is not the first time someone has violated one of my boobies, and it's never on purpose. People look so much more offended than I am because I'm used to it. That does not mean come up to me and squeeze them like people yeah. do because they want to know that they're real or not. They're they're real in, uh, in the way quite a bit. Nothing more romantic than being in bed with someone and they roll over three times and they're still on your chest. 
it's a great feeling. So yeah, that was my story. I'm gonna go ahead and eat a disrespectful amount of donuts and head home and do homework until God 7 comes on at 5 a.m. my time because what is life? What is life? Bye, y'all.